We heard Dawood talking to his wife, Angela, by phone from the detention center in Youngstown, Ohio. It's an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're basically on death row. You know, that's how we all feel. ICE is trying to deport many Iraqi Christians, but we thought Dawood's story was different. He was born in Greece, coming to the U.S. as a child of Iraqi parents. We asked his lawyer, Russell Abrutin, how a non-Iraqi can be sent to a place he's never been. It appears that the government has secured permission from Iraq to, to send him there without you know, any ties at all, you know, not even uh, ties from when he was born. Daoud's wife is a U.S. citizen, as is his son David. But since Daoud was convicted of drug-related crimes several years ago, he's been vulnerable for deportation under both Obama and Trump administrations. It turns out he missed a chance to become a citizen because his parents' divorce led to some unusual circumstances. Yanni's father became a naturalized U.S. citizen when Yanni was under 18. Under the law that's in effect today, Yanni would have automatically become a citizen. At the time, it required both parents to become naturalized citizens before the child turned 18. 